let's try to project forward, okay? First of all, give me the formation that you were guessing. Nobody's going to hold you to no, this. No. Nobody's going to go back and say, oh, Robbo got it all wrong. I think if you're buying the sort of players that they're buying, mm -hmm. you've got to stick them in the team to start with. And I think they'll play Timo Werner up. Front. No, no, give me the formation. So it's going to be 4 2 3 1. 4 2 3 1. Okay. Yeah. So the goalkeeper will either be Kepa or somebody yeah. they buy. Yeah. They've been obviously linked with with, with, with a number of players, with Magnon, with, with mm -hmm. Mondi. I'll see. I think they might even go back for Onana. Who the yeah. hell knows? Um, uh, you're right back. Uh, well, that's a choice between Aspilicueta and James. I yes, think Captain Aspilicueta Obvious. Gets, Who do you go for? Yeah, I'm going to go for Aspilicueta to start with. All right, I will go with Reese James. There you go. Uh, and then you've got two centre halves. Thiago Silva will come in and, and be the, the, the sort of dominant player. And I would go with Rudiger as the other centre half. I think Rudiger's better than the cent other centre halves that Chelsea have. Yeah, I don't think Rudiger hit some ups and downs last season, but I would yeah. agree with you. Um, I think Rudiger's a good option if yeah. you're going to back four. Your left back is Chilwell. We Chilwell, yeah. Who's All a good right. attacking left back? Because Aspilicueta, if I play Aspilicueta, will come a little bit narrow to make a back three at times when Chilwell gets forward. Okay. And then you've got to have two central midfield players that can do both sides of the game. Who's good on the We don't want to sell Conte. Don't want to so. sell Conte. He's got to play. All right. And I would start, of all the players at the moment, it would have to be Kovacic. He had a good season last year. I think he's the best one to play with Conte. And that would be your two central midfield players. But there'd be a lot of players sort of uh, vying well, for that position. If you're going to play two, you're talking obviously. In a two, they, they, mm. they tend to sit a little deeper. Yeah. They don't have a bazillion options in that position because, you know, yeah, I mean, Barkley can do it, Loftus Cheek can do it, but Jorginho is still there. And Jorginho is still there. We assume he's going to go, but we mm. don't know. Mm. And obviously, you've got the kid, Billy Gilmore, who yeah. he really, really likes. I'm assuming Jorginho goes. You keep Billy Gilmore to give yeah. you options if you want, yeah, if you want to play with a deep playmaker. Yeah, if, but <laughs> As a midfield player, you have to be able to do both. And, you know, everyone talks about a, a, an attacking midfield player, a defensive midfield player. I would say Kovacic can do both. He can do well enough defensively, but he also can break forward and be a good passer of the ball. I think Mason Mount can do that as well. Loftus-Cheek can do that. In a, if, in a if, two? In a two. Yeah, they can. Because right. right. I think they can do both sides of the job. They're physically capable of doing that. Okay. It's only if they're unathletic you can't do the defensive side of the game. And that's why I've never been a fan of Jorginho. All right. And then right. you've got the next three players yes. in front which I would pay uh, Ziyech on the right-hand side. Go ahead of hudson Adoy. Rather than hudson Adoy at the moment. hudson Adoy, yeah, will get games, but it's Ziyech who comes in and plays on that right-hand side. When hudson Adoy side. regains full fitness, we'll know. Because yeah. that, that injury takes like another six months yeah. after you come back, right? Mm -hmm. If he goes back to being that sort of player, I mean, yeah, it's it, hard to get him out of the lineup, yes. I think. Yeah, I, but I would if, you, if you're spending money on Ziyech to of come course. from Ajax to play on that right-hand side, I think you're going to start with him. Then Kai Havertz playing in the number 10 role, gliding across the field and picking out his passes, but he's got to be more dominant. Which Mount and Ziyech could also do theoretically. They could do, yes. Barkley could yeah, do theoretically. Could do, and Loftus Cheek could do theoretically. They don't do it. All those Chelsea players you've mentioned haven't done it consistently right. enough, and that's why they're still looking to bring players in. Uh, and then on the left-hand side, I think... Come the end of the season, despite his injury, Pulisic was the outstanding player in that position on the left-hand side. So I think he will start if he's fit. And the alternative to Pulisic being Timo Werner, but you've got Timo Werner at centre forward. Timo, Timo Werner has to play up front for, for me. I think he's a much better centre forward than he is wide player. And he just gives Chelsea something different. Tammy Abraham started the season well, but I don't think it's quite good enough to play week in, week out. And Olivier Giroud, I'm not a fan of uh, at all, even though he, he's, he even doesn't He's very handsome. Enough. He's easily yeah, Chelsea's that's most not why handsome centre-forward. That's not why just, you pick him in the side. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, You used to pick Alisson in, in uh, Roma's he's side also, because he was also handsome. He's also very handsome, yeah. Well, the way I look at this, obviously Chelsea have spent a ton of money. Hmm. Their, although I think their net spend is round about 125 million because obviously mm. they got the Morata money in, yeah. they got Pasalic. Mm. I think they're good. They have a number of players that mm. they can shift. Um, Bakayoko, um, presume one out of Barclay or Loftus Cheek, I would assume yeah. would go. Jorginho may go just because mm. they just have too many players, too many bodies. Yeah. yeah. Um, but just to make this clear for people who still don't seem to understand it is in terms of amortization um some of these guys that that when, when you should when you send these people on loan as long as you get a loan fee and you get their um and, and you get their wages off the books for a year mm. which in many of these cases chelsea can do like bakayoko for example yep. is willing to take a pay cut to go to the to go to milan on loan if it happens i mean i don't know if, i'm just still negotiating mm. that 
Um, You're negotiating it, are you? No, you I'm, I'm, not, I'm not involved in that particular transfer. But you get, you know, you, you, you gain flexibility there. Um, but I, I still look at this and I still think their strategy this year is like nobody's spending. Let's spend. Let's accumulate mm -hmm. assets and let's see where we are a year from now. Uh, but they have to be smart. They have to make sure you don't have guys, you know, sitting in the back gathering dust, mm -hmm. never playing uh, while being fit, because obviously they're going to depreciate like Alonso, value. There's another player that if Chilwell comes in and does really well, where does Alonso fit into it all? <laughs> see, only, if they change, only if they change their system. I Well, I know when they have Emerson, of course, as yeah. well, who it's interesting. If you commit to a back four, you keep Emerson, because Emerson mm. can be your backup in, yeah. a, in a four much better than Alonso. Alonso yeah. But Alonso... You know, for all the criticism of his defending mm. and stuff. He's still a good outlet when he's playing as a left wing back. He's devastating, I'd mm. say. He's yeah. more than good. Mm. Um, and he gives you uh, he gives you target on set pieces as well. So, mm. anyway, lots for Frank Lampard to get stuck into. We'll see how things shake out. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.